314 Reactor here. I've been thinking lately about moving someone's mind into a machine. So I thought why not try and start the beginning steps of this by reading brain data and trying to move it into a machine. So I fired up some TensorFlow on my Raspberry Pi 4 here and got myself a Muse headset which reads EEG data, which is electro encephalogram data, which is basically electrical data being read from the mind. Now this headset is usually used for meditation, you connect it to an app on your phone, but I also learned that you could hook it up to a Raspberry Pi via Bluetooth and get it to read the data off of it into a CSV file. So I read up on importing CSV data into TensorFlow and got to work on moving the CSV data being taken in from the headset and training a model on it that can recognize relaxed or a non-relaxed mind state from the alpha, beta and theta waves. Now alpha, beta and theta waves are essentially different waves that come from your mind's electrical signals and depending how much frequency is coming from those can determine what mind state you're in. So I'll also link that down below with details in there so you can go and read about all that. Now in the description, there's a link to my Hackster and Electromaker as well as my website where I have a write up on this. It also leads to GitHub uh, so you can grab the code and see what's going on there. Essentially, I have a main Python script which calls a number of other modules that gathers data from this, puts it all into a CSV file or a number of CSV files, it requests the user to relax their mind for two minutes and then excite their mind for two minutes and then it does that a number of times to get the training data, puts it all into one CSV, trains the TensorFlow model on it and then it gathers some more testing data to test the model against. It also has a pipeline for running artificial data through it which I use to determine that the model would even work. So just looking closer at the EEG headset, obviously wraps around the head and you can see there's little sensor pads and stuff like that that can read from various parts of the brain and detect the electrical activity and pass them onto a device like a mobile phone or a Raspberry Pi via Bluetooth. It's very simple to charge, it just charges using a standard USB. That's basically the headset. Quite expensive but relatively simple and this is the Model 1. I'll also link down below where you can purchase these and the website so you can see more information about them and what they're actually supposed to be used for in terms of meditation, etc. And so here you can see it's running through the testing pipeline where it's generating training data, generating testing data, and chucking that all into a CSV file. Again, you can see in the description down to my GitHub what that's all doing. And here you can see the TensorFlow model being trained on that test data. So it'll run through that. It's got quite a small batch going through it at the moment, and then it will come to a determination at the end. Uh, obviously this is artificial data, so it's not gonna reflect the real data entirely, but it's just a good way of verifying that the model works. And here you can see the outcome of that test data. Uh, scroll up and you can see the test loss is about 2.8 and test accuracy is about 8.4. That's not too bad, could be better. I think I need to tweak some things with the model. I have tried to make the artificial data noisy and slightly inaccurate because I imagine that's what the real data is like when reading from a brain because I find it hard to keep my brain consistently relaxed so I imagine there will be some incorrect data but generally what comes through here it's reasonably on the money some things are way off but generally the model is learning from the artificial data as it should be but let's see some real data coming from the EEG headset coming through in real time so let's turn it on it's on and then pop it on my head like so and then what we do is we run the real pipeline and that should boot up and connect to the headset and there we go we can see the alpha beta and theta waves coming from my mind there in real time so these values should change as the activity in my brain changes and essentially all that gets written row by row into a csv file uh, it will ask for two minutes of relaxation data and then two minutes of non-relaxation data, and then it'll do that a couple of times for training data, and then combine them into one CSV, and then it'll do it again for test data, with a smaller amount of information, combine those into a CSV, train the model on the training data, and then run it against the testing data. And when it gets written into the CSV files, it also writes it along with a master row, which has a relaxation state of either one or zero, depending on what it's recording at the time so that TensorFlow can determine what is uh, relaxed data and non-relaxed data from the mind. So also what I'll do here is, after just showing that demo working, is I'll make sure the headset's on and then fire up a real test of the whole pipeline 
and show the results. Just got the headset on there. I won't show the whole thing because it'll take a long while, but I can show the start, a bit in the middle, and then the results at the end. So let's start that up, headset's on, and it's on my head there. And here we go. Okay, so that was two minutes of trying to clear my mind as much as possible. Now it's on to trying to get my mind to be as active as possible. I'll be here another two minutes, and then it will do that two more times to gather the training data, and then it will move on to gathering testing data, and then run it through training. Okay, and as we can see, after that real data run, recording in my relaxed uh, mind data and non-relaxed mind data, and then being passed through the system, uh, we can see it's got a test loss of 0 0.3 and accuracy of 0 0.9. So as we scroll down, we can see that it's run predictions on the model. Again, not all of these are accurate, but quite a few are. So that's accurate, that's accurate, that's accurate, that's accurate, that's accurate, and that's accurate. Scroll down and we can see the results are fairly on the money. Now these are being predicted against each row in the CSV. So each row containing alpha, beta and theta waves and comparing whether they actually are relaxed based on the test data running against the model. That data is not perfect, but it's fairly accurate. I imagine this would get way more accurate with lots and lots more data, which is what I plan to do in the future, gather tons and tons more data and run it through, and make sure that the model is uh, running a lot better and is more suited for taking in this sort of data, and allow us to then move on to other mind states that can be detected. So yeah, check out the description so you can see the uh, code, testing, and results. And also let me know if there's any issues with what I've done with TensorFlow, if I'm doing anything wrong, if I could be getting the data in a better way, or just anything like that, just let me know. Now, obviously this is nowhere near moving a mind into a machine, but I like to think of this as a R&D uh, and learning experiment, just to see what I can learn. And it's the very beginning of hopefully something bigger. So this will be phase one, and then later on down the line, I'll make another project called phase two, which is where I'll be tightening up the results of this, improving the model, and also using more sensors, because even on this version, there's like heart rate sensors and stuff like that that I'm not currently using. That should help with the data and there's even a Muse Model 2 which has even more sensors on it that should be able to uh, increase the accuracy and then I plan to actually be able to save the models onto a file and then they can be reused and reloaded later especially for real-time applications and then using the extra data and what I've learned I hope to move on to detecting more than just two mind states maybe even emotions possibly from the mind and I probably will get the Muse 2 headset at one point hopefully there'll even be a Muse 3 headset or an even more advanced headset out there that will allow better readings and more accurate readings and just more data to train on. So yeah, go into the description, check out the write-up for this, the code, everything like that. Feel free to download it yourself. Some of the code has been taken from other places such as the Muse GitHub. Uh, so I've referenced all that in the code, so you can go there and check their original code. I've had to modify it to load it up into my pipeline to gather the data and process it into TensorFlow. So if you like this, please drop a like and a subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, drop a comment to uh, give me any suggestions or what you think of this. And if you have your own Muse headset or some equivalent EEG headset, then feel free to try this yourself on a Raspberry Pi um, and let me know what results you get, see if you can improve it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.